When we go through a tragedy and experience the comfort of God, we show our gratitude by giving testimony to the greatness and mercy of God at work in our life. Hello dear friends, blessings of peace and joy be with you and your families. I'm Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with compassion for her and said to her, Do not cry. Then he came forward and touched the bier, and the bearers stopped. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them. And they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people. This word about him spread throughout the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. Mercy is not an empty feeling of pity that brings no change to the situation of the suffering person. Rather, it is a force that moves one to act to relieve the misery, even without being explicitly asked. This movement is akin to feeling in oneself and beating of God's heart. Indeed, mercy is divine regardless of whether the person acting mercifully acknowledges God or not. Jesus is revealed in this episode as the one who gives flesh and blood to the Heavenly Father's outstanding trait, which is mercy. Even without hearing the widowed mother's cry of pain, Jesus intuits her bitter anguish and a deep sense of having been abandoned. Her son was her only hope to live decently in a society that marginalizes those who are economically inactive, like widows. And now, she too is as good as dead. Bringing back to life the widow's son is tantamount to restoring the widow's life too. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make us channels of your compassion in a world of apathy and indifference. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful, do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs> 